Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am so glad you've joined me today because today we are going to create our own Alice in Wonderland mini doll. Now in the Lego blind bags, the Disney mini figures, there were actually a couple of Alice in Wonderland characters. There was the Cheshire Cat and there was Alice, of course, herself with the drink me drink and the little cookie or the bit of the mushroom, it's up to you which one you think it is, to make her different sizes. But as far as I'm concerned, Alice is supposed to be well, she's cartoony and I don't think she looks very good as a minifigure, so we're going to make her as a mini doll. So I've actually already painted the body because we're going to do more than that today. So I've painted her stockings white and her bodice blue and that's perfect as a base for what we're going to need to add on the top because she's got a dress and a pinafore as well, which is a little apron. But before we talk about how we're going to make them, we might need to find a head. So Alice has blue eyes, red lips, and this head will be absolutely perfect. And we're going to, well, we're going to borrow this hair from the minifigure and we're going to put it on our new mini doll. And her head looks quite seriously squashed down on there. She looks as though she's got no neck. So we might just squizzle that back up a bit. There, that looks much better proportion wise. Okay, so let's compare our mini figure to our mini doll. So we've got a nice basis here, but we still need to create a skirt and an apron for the mini doll. And these skirts that fit on the mini figures don't fit on the mini doll. So we're going to take that one away and we are going to create a skirt that comes to about this length out of some material. So this is going to be a fun experiment. Okay, what do we need first? We need a circle and we'll need to find something to draw around so we can get, well, a pretty good circle. Uh, I think that this is probably going to be a good size. It's not too small because we don't want it too short because her, well, her, her dress is kind of knee length or longer. So I'm going to draw around this. I've got a 2B pencil, so we'll sketch this out. I'm doing this on the back of the material, so it doesn't matter if I don't cut it out too well and we still see some pencil marks. And before we cut it out, let's measure across the diameter of the circle, which is that, well, straight across the middle of the circle. And it's four centimeters or one and a half and a bit inches. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the size we're doing here if you want to be trying this out at home. Okay, time to start cutting it out. I am going to cut out just inside my line. And that way the line will be cut off and we won't be able to see it. And hopefully I can do a kind of a neat circle. It's surprisingly hard to do this when you're trying to do it on video. <laughs> but that's not too bad. There's a couple of little pointy bits there. We can neaten them up later. Actually, we're going to neaten them up now. Let's try this. <laughs> we'll see if I can neaten it up. Kind of. That's sort of neatened up. Okay, now we need a hole in the center to go over her waist. So we we need to bend this over, make a crease right in the middle. So you've got two semicircles and we're going to, I'm going to just eyeball it a bit here and see if I can find the center. This is going to go badly because I should have measured it out. We're just going to snip a teeny tiny half oval and I'm using nail scissors for this. They're super duper sharp. So that was almost centered. Oh, it's a little bit off. I can fix that up though. You'll, I'll show you how. All right, let's try this over there. That's, 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 actually that's a really good length too. So when we put her top back on again, she's now got a skirt that sticks out <laughs> at her waist. It's kind of like the air is always coming up from below. So <laughs> <laughs> not really very skirt like this is what happens when you're working on such a miniature scale so we're going to need to do some modifying here to make the skirt have a bit of shape so I'm gonna pinch two pinches at the back here and two at the front we're kind of pinching it into quarters we're going to make little folds in the skirt and then we're going to glue those folds so that it sits down, but it still kind of looks airy and fluffy and, and like a circle skirt. So I think they're the right spots. So let's take that. Oh, hold on. We're already starting to fray. Okay, let's take that off and we're going to put glue in each of these creases. All right, it's time to glue. If I can just find where I left my craft glue. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Here it is. Okay, so this is a quick dry adhesive. It works on material and it's not going to soak through the material. 
uh, so it's not going to actually stain it but it does leave these big strings coming up and we can just pull them off later so I've put a little dab in each of these creases and we're going to just pinch them all in like so and if we just hold this for a couple of minutes this actually dries really quickly this glue then we should be right and we can try it on Alice in just a moment. Now you can see that some of my semicircle there on the skirt is kind of askew because I didn't cut it right out of the middle, the waist section, so I'll fix that up in a moment. But let's check this. That's turned out pretty well. Actually, that's turned out really well. That's exactly how I want it to look. Oh, success. That's fantastic. <sighs> See, now this is how we've modified this so that we don't actually have it just sticking straight out in the air. But I am going to even up the edges of the skirt now so that it sits really nicely and balanced. There, let's try that. Oh no, hold on. Ah, I don't know if I've made it worse. No, no, it's not worse. It's going to look good. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Actually, that looks really good. Okay, now let's put it back on Alice and let's try that out. Which side should we make the front? I think we'll make that side the front. And that looks much better. Perfect! Alice has now got a perfect skirt and it's a wonderful length. Alright, Alice the minifigure is here for comparison and showing us that we actually still need to make the apron or the pinafore and for this we are going to need some white fabric and I have found the finest weave that you can which means really really close weave because like I said before we're working in miniature and I've already created a pattern for this I've had a bit of a play around with how this will work so this is going to go over her neck and this is where the waist is going to be. It's going to cinch in at the waist and we're going to glue a piece of ribbon around so that it pulls in to tie at the back. Though we're not actually going to tie at the back. I have another plan for that too. But the first thing we need to do is to sketch out our pattern on the back of the piece of material. So let's do that first and I'm going to need my 2B pencil for this again and this is going to be... Well, this is going to be much, much trickier to cut out than the skirt. So there's the top part and this down here is going to be the bottom part of the apron. And I don't know if it's going to be the right length, so we can always judge that when we put it on her. We can always trim it up a bit. But this is the shape we're going to need to actually look right on a mini doll. So we're going to cut out just inside the line again. Like I said, I sketched this on the back, so it doesn't matter if we still see a bit of pencil mark if I don't actually cut out quite inside the lines. There. Oh, actually, no, I'll take a little bit more off the bottom, off that little corner, so it'll round up nicely to match the edge of the skirt. Now, to get out the neck piece is going to be very fiddly, and you're going to need some very sharp scissors for this. So I'm going to cut down into the corners first. This is really tricky to do this. I, re need, I actually probably need sharper scissors to be able to do this. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that's not too bad. There's a little bit that needs to come off the edge of the pinafore. We can fix that up in a moment. Let's try it on and see if it goes over her neck and sits where I want it to sit. Oh, it does. Got an extra hair on it. <laughs> it does. That's, that's what I want. That looks absolutely perfect. Except her head's now on too low, so she looks a bit weird. But that's what we want. Okay, arms down, Alice. Now we need to decide when we're going to put the ribbon on, shall we put it over the top? So arms up again, Alice. Let's put it on over the top and see which looks better. So over here, that looks quite nice. Or shall I put it underneath? I just don't know. I think it's just a bit too shiny to go with the material. So if I put it underneath here, I can then glue the, the top of the pinafore on and it'll hold it in place really nicely. I think I'm going to try it like this. I think that looks really, really nice. All right. Okay, I'm going to need to get my glue out again, and this is going to be fiddly. We'll glue this in. We'll glue this in place and see how it all goes. 
Okay, heads off. And arms up again. Let's keep them right out of the way of all the glue. And we're going to just glue a circle of this around her waist. Now I was going to try a bow at the back just like you would tie up a pinafore with the two ties but this ribbon is just that bit too wide though it is the thinnest ribbon I could find but mini dolls are so tiny that even the very thin ribbon looks huge on them. So we're going to glue this on here and I'll just size up how far we're going to be needing it and then <laughs> if I don't stick my finger to it we'll cut off the excess before the glue dries. And then I can tidy up what I've done here. I can pull this across and stick it on nice and firmly. So the ribbon's just stuck to itself. It's not stuck to the mini doll at all. So we will be able to take this on and off later. Okay, next part of the job is to put a dab of glue on the front. Get rid of all those strings and we'll, we'll make sure it's, we've got it on the right way around and pull it into just the right position and we want to glue it all the way across that ribbon at the front so that it looks as though it's tied down and it's all one piece. I think I'm gonna add I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue under here because it hasn't gone as far across as I would like. There we go. That's heaps better. That's fantastic. And head back on. Oh, head's on too far. And we'll let that dry and I'm just going to fix up a couple of things. So now that she's dried, I've actually just trimmed a little bit up the side of her pinafore while you weren't watching. I did that off camera. And her head's now at just the right angle on her neck at just the right height. But look at that. A mini doll Alice. I'm really, really thrilled with how this has turned out. It's the first time that I have made clothes for a mini doll and <laughs> I think she looks perfect like this. Now, this is a spare apron I made just to show you. You can actually take it on and off because it's all just one piece. So that's pretty cool. I'm really, really thrilled with my design here. Okay, Alice, now we just need to deck you out with the proper accessories and you can go and hang out in Wonderland. So she has the drink me to make her smaller and the cookie or the bit of mushroom. Let's just fix that apron up a bit. It's already fraying a little bit on the inside uh, to make her bigger. And she is all set to go. She's ready for all eventualities, all situations. And she's beautifully dressed in her white stockings, her black shoes, her blue dress, and her white pinafore, proper hair. Oh, where'd the Cheshire Cat go? He can't disappear yet. We haven't finished the video. Oh, here he is. He's just coming in to check out Alice a little bit closer. And I think he approves. He's got that massive smile. So let's move them into Wonderland and see how they fit in. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. I really think Alice looks just so much better as a mini doll. What do you think? I do hope you'll leave me a comment. Oh, the white rabbit's here. I think he's late. He keeps looking at his pocket watch. Just ran into the Cheshire cat as he went past. <laughs> oh, and Alice. Oh, wait, white rabbit. Alice is always chasing after that white rabbit. And the Cheshire cat is always disappearing. So it's just an everyday day in Wonderland with all of the crazy things going on. And I hope you'll join me for our next video. Do make sure you've subscribed and click the little notification bell. And then you don't miss any videos. You get to see them as soon as they go up. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. That way I know to make more videos like this and I'm gonna see you for the next one very very soon.